Hi folks, welcome to the second episode of Eve Echo's bootcamp training. Today, we will talk about turret-based weapons and how they work in Eve. Turret-based weapons are the most commonly used weapons in the game, whether it's lasers, railguns, cannons, or decomposers. If you would like to know more about their damage types, I recommend watching the first episode of the series linked in description. What's common in turret weapons is that they use a combination of range and tracking to calculate their hit chance. These calculations are made on every turret fitted on your ship independently. For example, if your ship has four cannons fitted, the calculations will be done on each cannon separately. With that out of the way, let's start with the range factor. Each turret type has an optimal range and accuracy falloff. While discussing range, I'm gonna assume that both your ship and your target are either not moving at all, or moving directly towards or away from each other. In other words, let's set the angular velocity to zero. As shown in this illustration, anywhere between one kilometer and your maximum optimal range has a 100% hit chance. Once your target leaves the optimum range, your chance will keep dropping till it reaches 50% at the edge of your accuracy falloff. At double the falloff range, your chance will be as low as 6%. The chance keeps decreasing as the distance grows till you practically cannot hit your target anymore. In addition to range, Tracking tells how well turrets hit a moving target. If the target is stationary relative to the shooter, tracking is ignored and only range affects the hit chance. However, against moving targets, tracking plays a big role in determining if the shot is gonna hit or miss. There are three main variables that are used in this formula. Tracking speed, target's angular velocity and ship size, or as it commonly referred to, signature radius. Since the calculations are relative, if your ship is moving as well, depending on your ship's speed and direction, it will either impact tracking positively or negatively. In simple terms, if your target is orbiting faster than your turret's tracking speed, you're more likely to miss. Also, the smaller the target is, the more difficult it is to hit it. And if you're moving in the wrong direction, it will only make your turrets struggle to hit even more. Each turret type comes in two variants. The first provides more range, less tracking speed, and slower fire rate, while the second provides better tracking, less range, and faster fire rate. For example, Lasers have the pulse variant for short range and the beam variant for long range. Additionally, turrets come in different sizes. These sizes can be fit on different ship classes. The bigger your turret, the more damage it dishes out. But that comes at the cost of tracking speed. That concludes this episode. If you have a question, post it in comments section down below and I'll be happy to answer. In the next video, we'll go through missiles and drones. Please feel free to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Fly safe.